Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is an interactive video lesson about how to divide fractions. So for the first page, we're going to do some problems together, so stay with me. And then you have a chance to pause the video and then try some problems on your own. And then at the end, you can see how you did. Alright, so how do we divide fractions? Well, there's a simple saying about how to divide fractions. It's, it's keep, change, and flip. And these are kind of the three steps you do to divide fractions. So let's kind of go through the process here, all right? And what I did is I made like a four-step process or like a to-do list in order to, to uh, divide fractions. So step number one says leave the first fraction alone. So here we have three over one divided by half. So we're gonna leave this first fraction just as is. I'm gonna rewrite it as three over one. Part two, turn the division sign into a multiplication sign. All right, so I'm gonna take this division sign and turn it into multiplication. And there's that. Step number three, flip the second fraction over. All right, that's also known as the reciprocal. All right, so the reciprocal of one half is two over one. And then finally, multiply the fractions. All right, now at this point, you can try to cross reduce if you can to save you some time, um, but this we can't. So to multiply fractions, remember you multiply the numerators and then the denominators. So three times two is gonna be six and one times one equals one. So our answer is one. So there are six one halves and three. All right, so let me kind of show you a diagram of just what we did. So let's pretend we have three candy bars. So draw these in for me. All right, and I wanna know how many halves we have out of these candy bars. So let's split these in half. So here we go, so we have, there's halves, we split that in half, and we split that in half. And now let's count the number of halves we have. So we have one half, two halves, three halves, four halves, five halves, and six halves. And that right there represents our answer of, of six. So there are six one halves in three holes. All right, so again, to divide fractions, you keep, change, flip. You keep the first fraction as is, you change the sign to multiplication, and then you flip the second number of a fraction and then you multiply. All right, so when you pause the video, video and try the your turn problems now, and when you're done, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I did it on these practice problems. So the first problem we have is two thirds divided by four fifths, okay? And remember, we're gonna keep change and flip all three of these problems. So for the first one, it's gonna be two thirds times. Now the, we're gonna flip the second fraction, so it's gonna be five fourths. And now when we multiply, we can see if we can reduce. So the two and the four can be reduced by a common factor of two. That's gonna be a one and that's gonna be a two. And now we can multiply. So one times five is five. And three times two is six. So there's your answer, five six. So there's five sixths of a four fifths and two thirds. All right, next one, we have eight divided by two thirds. So again, keep the first fraction, change the division and multiplication, and then flip the second fraction. So it's gonna be three over two. And now we can cross reduce if it's possible, and we can. So that's gonna be a four and that's gonna be a one. And now we multiply. Four times three is 12 over one times one is one. So our answer is 12. All right, finally, we have 9 tenths divided by 1 fifth. So again, I'm going to keep the 9 tenths as is. We're going to change that division to multiplication, and then we're going to flip the second fraction, and the re reciprocal of 1 fifth is 5 over 1. And this problem, we can reduce the, the 5 and the 10. We'll make this a 1 and make this a 2. And then finally, we can multiply. 9 times 1 is 9, and 2 times 1 is 2. And I'm going to make this into a mixed number which is four and a half, and there's our answer. All right, so anytime you're dividing fractions, think of KCF, keep, change, flip, and I'm sure you do fine. All right, how'd you do?